Are you looking forward to another beautiful and exciting fighting game? Because if you are, I have the perfect hidden little gem for you right now because you know exactly what I'm talking about for the ones that are already watching my stream and saw my earlier video, but this is the best title I've seen in a long time and it is called Pocket Bravery. Alright guys, from the last video that I have just posted, I thank everyone who was able to comment and give me lots of good feedback and tell me exactly, you know, how much they, they enjoy the game themselves. And of course, you know, for everyone that has already followed and subscribed, you guys are absolute MVP. So thank you all very much for that one. And so let's quickly get into this beautiful new game. Like, why do I think it's so good? Well, let's begin with story mode. When we come into the conditional of fighting games, right? When we come in and it's like, hey, is there any storyline? Let me tell you this, from someone who started playing Tekken, Retro Fighter, from Street Fighter, there is no RPG element, there is no story. If you ever played Street Fighter 1, are you kidding me? You gotta like go through a gauntlet worth of trials until you get a few lines and a few extra pictures. It's like, ah yes, I will walk into the sunset now, you know? And then it comes to Street Fighter 2, you get a little bit more expanded story, you gotta continuously play arcade mode, and then, you know, for Tekken, this is only for people who, you know, actually bought the game, you know, you started reading it, you bought those game magazines back in the days, and you're like, oh my god, so much character lore, I'm so interested, you know? This one, in Pocket Bravery, however, you actually start with story mode. You can actually go straight into an expensive menu, and you go, hey, look, there's story mode, let me go and have a look at exactly what it is. I was actually a little bit lost. You know, for someone who played fighting games all his life, I was like, uh, hang on, where's the next fight? I, was, I thought it was like, okay, they're gonna give me a few lines, a few pictures, it's fighting time. No, it was, here's some actual RPG, here's some actual lore, what has happened. And in this cutesy and a little bit amazing kind of a pocket gem fighter-esque um, character size, um, you get to feel a very emotional and very playful story take of how they actually bring everything together. And I for one thought, you know, it was going to be pretty bad. It was going to be like, you know, really cutesy or something. No, it actually, you know, it, it had every vibe out there that you could. It, it was, it could, it started with dark. Like, you know, I thought it was quite dark in the beginning. And then you contrasted, there was badass moments. There was, you know, moments that was super likable. And then there was moments that I thought was just absolutely cute. Um, you know, shout out to Ming Mei. Ming Mei my god is my favorite character because in the story mode she had a beautiful personality she's very upbeat she's friendly she's exactly what you know modern people right now uh, of the generation can actually appreciate because you know she's just a vibe for anyone who picks up pocket bravery and play through the story mode you will love this character so i won't spoil any more of her story but just with the storyline itself i thought that was brilliantly told and brilliantly done and you know i've only finished one big part of it and that took me you know for a good two hours plus you know and i was also smashing it through because i was just speed reading and i was like next fight next fight <laughs> sorry to the devs that if you did watch this review but like for me i didn't realize that it was going to be so comprehensive like i i was just always ready you know because adrenaline is pumping your blood is going and you're like sweating and you're like when am i gonna learn the next beautiful move you know it's like oh and then all of a sudden it's like oh hang on a second this really ain't tutorial this is about you and then you know you can go through take your time and my god halfway through the game i started realizing there was this character references details to other pop culture that i didn't really see until then you know i saw uh, rick and morty i think i saw a uh terry sitting down from king of fighters and there was many more like all those moments i couldn't really list them all out from the top of my head because it was still quite late when i played on stream um but it was absolutely amazing i was absolutely blown away uh at the pop culture references and of course reference to the other fighting games now when it comes down to the actual gameplay right we talk about a few things as a fighting games past competitor and now just commentator slash playing and enjoying content creator like you know what kind of system is it well i can tell you it's a blend between um i guess a little bit of street fighter a little bit of tekken a little bit of king of fighters you know you have all the good stuff out there right um so you have four buttons so you got light punch you got heavy punch you got light kick you kick you've got you know guard break or breakout just like mortal kombat if you're getting hit with a big combo uh you've got the super system you've got like uh, the character that i use had two um and then you also have the ultra uh, super which is also good i didn't realize until the end of the stream and i was like hang on a second what the hell is this there was an ultra so I was, this whole time I've been doing normal supers. Boom. <laughs> I 
I've never seen that super, but that looks mad, bad, crazy. All right, you still have EX moves. Um, you know, you have the uh, dash jump, like super jumps forward, super jump back. Uh, you got the dash, uh, you know, to run. And of course, you know, the stage, you have a little bit of distance for 2D. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but the one thing that I was super impressed about is that when it comes down to the full animation of the moves, everything felt really good, right? Like I used Nudo, which is, by default, their character that you start with for the character, probably the main protagonist or the redemption protagonist. And basically, punch is exactly like punch. You see the punch like this, you see the hook, right? You see the actual reference going like in a backhand. You see the low kick. I was very impressed with the low kick. For someone who did martial arts most of his life as well, I don't mind the stomach because boomers. <laughs> but yeah, like, you know, when you kick down, like when you do the typical low, right? I'm gonna quickly just stand up a little bit. And basically, like when you do the low, you actually you have to turn your hip, right? So to see the character, goodbye my keyboard, to see the character actually kick on the sideways and see the hip turn and also having the low guard down, I was super impressed with that animation and then versing some characters like Daisuke, which, um, you know, has the sword, reminded me of characters like from uh, Naruto, so it's sort of like Itachi for me. I just called him Itachi because that was quite, quite cool. And of course, you know, Hector is a badass um, who I lost multiple times to in the story mode and in the arcade mode. And then on top of that, you got a character that also gave a representation like Street Fighter 6's uh, Zangief, or even Street Fighter 5's Zangief, but like, you know, you can see it that there's big resemblances but then you know you've got character stances styles uh anti errors everything is explained really really well um and so for that you know i give it an absolute nine out of ten like i thought that was really well done the reason i critique it to nine out of ten is because while the art style is like you know in the cute-esque and you know in a very compact size way for someone who's got eyes a little bit more uh, fragile than before right you, you want to see every detail and so for me to like i need to squint a little bit i'm using a 4k monitor so i had to like full blow it up yesterday to like you know put on my 4k monitor to just like for myself to see properly it does boot up in the normal 1920 by not even 1920 by 20 but like it was um i guess one third one third less than one third of my actual 4k screen uh and so you know my 32 inch monitor you know exactly how that is for anyone who uses a big oversized 32 inch monitors or anything if you use a 27 inch monitor you probably get uh it's still not the full size window mode so when you do launch in the beginning it's sort of like you know only about uh 75 of your screen if not less so you do have to toggle that in the beginning uh, but then you know that's only a little bit of a down talk and then on top of that there's so much more things that you can talk about right you have you know you have normal the music the music was really good the stage is actually really fine um and then you're looking at the elemental attacks by people's like you know fireball the blossoms you know the you have a sebastian character who's actually a boxer as well and he gets ice out of it i thought that was cool some of the moves you will see uh, to be like you know taking techniques that's already known in the uh, fighting community so you know you got your fireball you got your anti airs and uh, you i've seen the alex shoulder budge so if you're seeing street fighter third strike alex that's the huh when it goes up i saw that and i freaked out and i was like oh my god the pdst is coming through and you know i, I thought that was really cool uh, but then on top of that for anyone who's a veteran player anyone who plays a lot of fighting games anyone who likes to do combos and trials they actually have two modes right one of the most for uh, combo trials um it basically is just exactly what it is it's combo trials you you do some simple stuff and then you do some really crazy stuff i was happy to learn hector a little bit and i actually managed to you know spend a nice hour trying to go through some of his combo trials now mind you the difficulty does spike up really fast i like i did like one two three four i had to skip five because i couldn't do five anymore uh so i went to six and i did six and when i did six it was to the point where i thought the modern the modern control of combos was already getting like tough right i let out a massive scream of really going yeah you know i was dang accomplished let's go let's go that's what i'm talking about Woo! oh my god and then my viewers told me oh you haven't seen level 9 or level 10 to which i decided to go and have a look after to just see it and it was oh 
it was PTSD over and over again, especially reminds me of the EX era, probably like 10 times worse because they are complicated. Um, but once you do it, it's super fun, right? Because there's just so much to do. And if you're familiar with the system of KOF uh, 14, right? There are some combos out there that you're just like going, I can't do this three to five lines worth of commands. Like I can't, this is too much. And then once you imagine if you do like three lines, right? And then you stuff up at the last bit and you have to redo it. And that was like your best attempt over four hours. Congratulations. That is the trials in pocket bravery. <laughs> yeah, pocket bravery. He could have instantly went for another one if he needed. But he needed to cancel. And then after that, there's your make your own combo and then, you know, just attempting things in the training mode. You have a training mode stage as well, which is a plus plus so you can figure out your distance and everything else. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, you know, there's plenty of things that you can do, right? So if you like your arcade mode, arcade mode is absolutely there. You can go and play it, unlock, unlock your character. Um, and then on top of that, they're all lovable. They have good character uh, colors. You can also just use your in-game currency so this is not something that you pay for this is something that you just earn when you play through the game and then you can just use that to unlock the gallery unlock rainbow edition although i s i've unlocked rainbow edition i don't know what the hell it is yet i'm gonna play later on stream to have a look at exactly what it is um so find out <laughs> i'll find out for you guys uh... <laughs> And then on top of that, um, it, this this is one thing that I think everyone else, you know, in the community probably missed, especially when you, fight, when you play fighting games in the past, is that you have secret codes, you know, you have, it's not really cheat codes, it's not like the good old Mortal Kombat, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, ABA, right? Um, or select BA, down, up, left, right, you know what I mean, right? So like, you know, cool stuff and stuff. Um, one of my viewers was happy to, you know, give me one of the codes and help me out with it. And then I was able to unlock it. When it happened, Something inside of me just went Hang on a second That's really cool I unlocked a character and I unlocked something new I was just like, oh, it does exist And I thought, you know, the devs themselves definitely thought this one through So that one was a really surprise import, really good, nice system And I thought, okay, that was really cool And then on top, mirroring the system from Soul Calibur um, As well, they have their own galleries I know all fighting games have galleries But not all of them have good galleries And this one has galleries that you can unlock artwork Have a look at what the development is like And how the game all came into concept Or some story mode and stuff Like there's plenty of things to do And then on top of that you know, the devs themselves are still working to perfect the game even more, right? There was some known bugs that I was trying to go through with the combos. One of the reasons that I couldn't do some of the combos was because I'm using my Hitbox Arcade. If you haven't seen that video, it's actually one of my videos uh, for Hitbox Arcade on how the executions on some of that. Uh, and so there were some executions that I couldn't completely do without delaying my input as someone who, you know, can do it pretty fast. I I'm pretty good at doing combos, but probably not like, I'll give myself a 7 out of 10 for comments, right? Just just for that sake, right? Um, but yes, and the devs already said, okay, no worries, we, we're, already, we're already aware of it and we're gonna go into it. And just by how much and how developed this game is right now and how amazing it is, I'm already really happy playing it, you know? And it's not even like a full AAA title price, okay? So let's go into the next part, which is the pricing. I bought the game on the full DLC pack, you know, for future releases, for new characters, for new uh, character colors reference, if there was going to be any more, if they're going to release any more stages, I bought the full pack, and that was less than a, well, let's just say that was like, a, for Australian dollars, that was like about 55, 60 dollars uh, Australian. I'm pretty sure my editor note will be down here to give you the real price, but when I uh, paid for it, I thought, you know, let's give it a try, right? Obviously, this, it deserves some love, and I wouldn't mind that for fun again, because everyone knows, FGC has the best amount of players and the best 
player base in the community best 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 why we are all working we don't mind spending on it and we like playing fighting games anytime even if it's cutesy right and so i thought all right let me shell out a bit of money play it and i played it and i'm so happy right let's just say uh, right now mortal kombat over 150 dollars if you want to be playing the mortal kombat 1 collector's edition uh tekken 8 next year 160 dollars same thing uh street fighter 6 same thing everyone already paid a premium currency etc 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 this one was less cost than that and you gave me lots of fun already right i haven't really had the opportunity to take it online to fight some other people out there um, but also because i'm in the oce so in australia online base isn't as big as everyone else but i thought you know if i do get someone to play with me i'm gonna do everything i can to give a good analyzation but right now my current experience is that i played single player i played against the arcade i played against the story mode uh unlocking everything going through the systems and then you know just seeing what else there is to offer for the game i'm already very impressed right for the price that i paid in a fighting game that actually works well uh listens well and also has a you know really good community i'm super impressed at the development of this game and just how supportive uh, everyone has been and everyone has been around now am i looking forward to do some more content with it absolutely because i don't know it's it's a strange feeling where i think i've invested enough in a day in one session but then the next day keeps calling and i'm like thinking hmm i really want to learn the next combo or i really want to like you know go through a few more arcade playthrough i want to see you know what the rest of development is i want to see where the grab character lies around as well i'm pretty sure i will be seeing a little bit of bugs here and there but i'm pretty sure because how the devs are responding and really just making everything work is making this game um, you know already an absolute treasure whoa stunned i'm stunned what hello i'm invisible oh i need to mark this this is completely invisible so once again to cap off I know there would have been things that I might have missed in this review, but I will tell you right now, this is an absolute beautiful game. Absolute beautiful game. I'm giving it a total score of 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10 for a fighting game like this, right? Not because of, of anything else, but because of how fun I had, right? Because I know if I had a second player with me, we're going to be playing this for the next 10 to 20 hours right without sleep if this was if this was a saturday right and i have my best friend who plays a lot of fighting games with me sitting next to me i give him one arcade stick i get an arcade stick we both get some pizzas and get, have some snacks on the side we'll be playing for the next 20 hours without a doubt um you know animation is great the supers look awesome the story mode is great um the arcade is good um and then on top you know it's just having everything supportive is good there's also like modern controls that you can actually use as well so for anyone who is not looking to go for you know this big massive combos can also go into that mode that's what i'm assuming because i obviously chose the classic mode but you know i'm pretty sure there is going to be such thing as well and then the only thing that is really missing from the game it's not that much right the only thing that can come out from this is like uh you know if we have rollback neko which mind you i haven't tested because you know i haven't played online just yet and also the next iteration the next iteration will be the most craziest one my future suggestion for the game is that you know in the future if you you know wanted to keep making it make it even more uh, amazing that is if you were to collaborate or if you wanted to throw in the next version which becomes 2v2 or 3v3 or dramatic battle from street fighter alpha i will pay for it okay that's how much i like the game i will pay for the next one right so if a future dlc comes out and you introduce dramatic battle into that then you know absolutely if there is already dramatic battle in there that i haven't really noticed or taken notice of that's my bad because you know i haven't played enough of it and then on top if there was going to be a 2v2 mode right where you can sort of mirror the marvel versus capcom mode or 3v3 for marvel versus capcom 2 or even better than that uh, or even tag team like those kind of tag action will actually make this game even more crazier and even more fun and i know that it is possible because of just how amazing the game is um and i wouldn't ask anything else of it everything feels smooth everything feels good and if you like this one make sure to chuck your boy a like a notification bell and of course sub it please i know i did that really incorrectly but it's been a very tiring day 
And of course, if you would like to catch me on stream, especially on these funny times, and you want to play some more stuff with me and watch uh, what I do and exactly what I do on download, it's all over here on the social media because I do stream five to six days a week now, and I like to make sure that I do a lot more and provide more content. So thank you all very much for being so honest, so positive, and amazing supporting this upgrowing channel. I hope to see you all very soon, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.